Hi everybody, I'm going to show you guys the best cabbage roll recipe ever. So for this I'm using about half and half ground beef and pork. It's a little bit leaner and I really love that. I will also be using about six jars of pickled cabbage leaves and I found these in a European type grocery store. One of the ingredients I haven't showed you guys in the beginning of the video, you need two onions and uh, about a cup of white rice. I'm using some salt, you'll need two eggs for this recipe, some paprika, some whole black pepper, some thyme, which you can find in a grocery store, and some bay leaves. So let's get started. This is probably one of my favorite foods in the world. So what I'm doing now is just mixing up the ingredients and you want to go ahead and chop your onions. And I'm using just a small little processor just to cut the onions so I don't have to cut them by hand and start frying. So I'm just adding the two onions into my mixing bowl. I'm going to use a little bit of paprika. This adds some flavor. Also has a lot of vitamin C as well, you guys. Some salt. You need to add salt for flavor. Some thyme. Now this step is optional. If you don't have thyme or if you can't find it, you don't have to add it. But I find it gives it a really, really rich flavor to the cabbage rolls and of course the two eggs. Now this is also optional however I find the eggs are very essential because it holds the meat together so it doesn't fall apart while it's cooking on the stove. And yep, do it the old fashioned way. Just use your hands and mix it all in. And once you've got that done you're going to go ahead and add your one cup of rinsed rice to the mix and it doesn't have to be cooked. Don't worry because it's going to cook while it's on the stove so you don't have to cook the rice beforehand. So now I'm just taking out the cabbage leaves from the jar and this is probably the most fun part of it all. Um, what you want to do is just cut the leaves in half so that way you have more leaves and if you guys see what I'm doing there I'm just cutting out that middle stem because it's really hard and it's hard to hold the cabbage uh, once the meat is in it and get it nice and perfectly. So I'm just cutting out that thick center part. Not all of the leaves have it, but for the most part, the ones that do have it, you want to make sure you get rid of that and then just cut them in half. And this is how I fold my cabbage rolls, you guys. It's super easy. Just grab a little bit with your hand, put it in the center of the leaf, and just tuck and fold it just like so. It's super easy to do. There's nothing to it and just keep going until you got all of them done. So if you guys remember the little center bits that I cut, I'm not going to waste those. Line your pot with those because it'll just add a little bit of protection between the cabbage roll and the heat and it will add a lot more flavor and I'm going to add some whole black peppers at the bottom and now you basically just want to layer all of that cabbage roll and the cut up pieces of cabbage that you have. I'm adding some bay leaves again for more awesome flavor and I'm just lining the pot as you can see just going around putting them all in there and just finish up all of the cabbage rolls and stack them into your pot. This step is also very optional but I am adding about four teaspoons of tomato paste. It's just to give it a little bit more color and again a little more flavor but like I said this step is super optional you guys don't have to do that. So next what I'm going to do is add a little bit of that 
juice from the cabbage leaves. You want to add maybe about half a cup or so, not too much because remember the cabbage itself is going to be um, pickled so you don't want to add too much because it's going to be too sour. And the rest you're going to add water until all the cabbage rolls are completely covered. So go ahead and fill up the rest of the pot and once they're completely covered, oh yes, here I go, a little bit more sourness. Then I like using these leaves just to cover them up. This way the heat is trapped in there and all the cabbage rolls get to cook nice and evenly and it makes them nice and juicy and perfect. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. I absolutely love cabbage rolls. My grandma made them this way, my mom made them this way, and I like using a plate just to hold the cabbage rolls down and it traps the heat a little bit more. I like cooking this on very low heat for about four hours and then they are completely done. So I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. If you give it a try, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!